Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to another junk journal with me video. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up. I made some DIY junk journal embellishments on another video. It's going to take me a little longer to edit. So stay tuned for that video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more embellishment type videos. But for now, I'm just going to decorate this layout here. And I have some photos here. So I'm planning to use these photos. They are of some new plants and cacti or cactuses, cacti, that I got. And I got this really cute little thank you card. They, um, I ordered them online actually from a friend's new shop. So anyways, I am going to go ahead and use these. I thought it would be a little bit different because I'm usually adding pictures of people, but I kind of just wanted to do a layout for fun. So. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to use this card. I do know I want to use this as a background, so if you guys are familiar with how I like to do this, I'm probably just going to go ahead and tear this. I just like the raw edges, so um, you can always cut yours down though if that's something that you uh, prefer. So I'm just going to go like so. Let's see, and okay, so I think I'll probably have that there, but let me see. I really wanna include this, and I'm not sure I could. It has some um, care instructions for the plants, so I kind of don't wanna glue it down, but I'm not sure. Let me think about it. So I am actually going to go ahead and trim this down so I can just use this entire card over here. And I will be cutting off some of the writing, but it's okay, because I kind of, um, I'll be able to tell what it says and I should probably just go ahead and write the care instructions down anyways. Arlo's playing, of course. She doesn't really nap, so I can't really be filming videos while she's napping because those are rare occurrences. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this strip right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue both of these backgrounds down and then we can add our top layers. I really love this paper. It's from a Michaels paper pad. That's about all I remember, but yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down. Um, if you are in Portland area, I'm gonna have the shop name down below um, just because they um, they are wonderful, and these plants were able to ship to me, which is really cool, but I think that they only are shipping local. I'm not too sure, but you know, if you're interested, feel free. Oh, I have an idea. So I'm wondering what to do over here, and I just remembered that I have this really small envelope um, template, and so why don't I make a small envelope? I'm just gonna go ahead and trace around this. Okay, I cut that out, and P.S. if you're wondering, this template does come from paper source. I do have an envelope punch too, which I use often, but um, I kind of like the template just because it's a little bit quicker and I don't have to worry about measurements. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. And I didn't cut uh, too perfect here, so I might go ahead and take some ink to go around the edges just so it looks like I meant to do that. Just go around all of the edges. I'm just using black ink here. Okay. There, I think that looks a little bit better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this envelope together. Okay, so I think it can be, oh yeah, like a little policy envelope, that's cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold that down for a moment, make sure no glue seeps through. And this is actually the perfect size for my Polaroid photo, so I think what I'm gonna do is have one in the envelope here, and then I'll have one out. So let's go back to the layout here. So I think that I wanna have this envelope over on this side so it all coordinates, and I think I'll have it go sideways. So you can just pull this out 
Then I might use some die cuts to go on top. Let's see here. Actually, this will be the perfect one because I'm going to write the date in here. So, perfect. I like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. And then we can work on the other side. And I just have one more photo. These are kind of small-ish, but let's see. And I have this little journaling card. And um, it's, it's already made, but as you can see, it has some sewing detail. And I'm actually going to journal on the back of this, just over that sewing detail. So I think I'm just going to kind of layer these on. This is just a really quick way to get something down in my book. I like that. So I'm just going to... When I come across something that I like on a layout, I kind of like to just get it down right away rather than overthinking it. Use some of this wallpaper. Let's see. Yep. And so I'm just gonna actually tear some off just to layer under this picture. Sorry guys. And I just happen to have some of this, uh, these fibers right here. So I'm gonna go like this. And I think I'll actually just go ahead and staple this down. Okay. Now I could make this into a pocket if I needed more journaling space, but I know that I don't. So I am just going to glue it down. And like I said, I will go ahead and do any journaling that I want on this journaling card. And again, I kind of like that these photos aren't of people because they normally are. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of journal about just like what was happening this day, what was happening in life. And so I'm going to just use a little bit of washi tape here so that this can flip open. And so I'm going to do my journaling off camera, of course, but it'll be like that. There. So that was a really quick, fun layout. Let's see. I probably could add some more die cuts just because they're pretty. <laughs> Are those having a good day? I think I might actually add that right there so that when you open it up, it's just kind of like that. Okay. I have some really fun videos planned for you guys. So I hope that you won't forget to subscribe. If you like my videos, feel free to leave any requests down below. I always try to get to them eventually. And I think that's all for right now. I'll show you a final photo on my Instagram once I get the um, journaling done here. I'm just gonna staple this on like so. There we go. I hope this inspired you guys in some way and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.